Hello, uh, this is Billy, and welcome back to my channel. So originally I wanted to post this video in August of 2020, um, talking about a little accident I had and the injury that resulted from the accident. And um, so I just wanted to say I'm actually doing really great. And I just completed my rounds of physical therapy, and I'm just doing in-home personal strengthening exercises by myself now and uh, I'm getting stronger every day. So for whatever particular reason uh, why I did not get around to editing these clips, uh, I you know, am doing them now. I still want to post this video because I think it could potentially be very helpful for those out there that have just, you know, unfortunately gotten injured, um, this could be something that could help them along on their journey. Uh, so here is my experience uh, and enjoy. <laughs> So it's 4.42 a.m. and it's surgery day. Welcome to the Clavicle Club. Now, if for some particular reason or you're wondering to yourself, sounds interesting, cool, how do I join? I'm gonna have to stop you right there and insist that you turn back immediately and run as quickly as possible the other way. And don't look back. Now, for those of you who unfortunately find yourself in this club, not by your own volition, this video is for you. So this journey began a little over three months ago during a bike ride. On that particular June day, I decided that I needed to be outside. I had been inside for way too long um, during this pandemic and I chose to go on a trail that I've been on many times before, so I had a lot of experience with that route. And it was on my way back from a 40 mile bike ride that I was going a little bit too quickly downhill and I braked too hard and I flipped over my handlebar and landed on my clavicle. And at first I didn't notice anything was wrong with my clavicle um, because I felt uh, intense pain on my head, uh, on my forehead. And it turned out that my, my head actually landed first uh, and I just rolled onto my clavicle. Um, but when I tried to lift my arm getting up, it hurt so much. Um, that I couldn't even lift my arm. And um, I had noticed that my something was tilting up underneath my skin. And that's when I knew um, something was wrong. So fast forward, fast forward, I did end up having to go to the ER. They took a CT of my head and my neck to make sure that there was no brain bleed and there was no fracture. In my in my spine, and um, they took an X-ray of my shoulder, and they noticed a what they what they called a distal clavicle fracture, uh, and I was referred to a specialist. Um, so the very next week, uh, I think it was about three or four days later, I had met up with my surgeon and he presented uh, the idea of a hook plate clavicle surgery. And he had indicated to me that this procedure um, is two parts. First, they're going to put a plate that's like a hook um, onto the distal end of my clavicle. Uh, and because it's the break is so far out onto my clavicle, um, that is the reason why they had to do this procedure. Uh, first, it's a hook plate. It hooks under my rotator cuff, I believe. 
um, and in three months, they're going to take it out. So at that time, I felt lost uh, because I've never had a procedure like this done. I've never had surgery before and I just felt I just felt lost I didn't know I didn't know what to do I did ask the doctor if there was any alternatives where I didn't need surgery he said that uh, this was required if you wanted to have um, full movement and um, he suggested because I was young that I should just go ahead with it um, now I wanted to make this video because at the at that time I started looking for information doing a lot of research and I wasn't finding a lot of that on the on the internet about um, this my particular type of injury um, so wanted to put this out there um, to help uh, anyone who may be dealing with this right now um, that it, it'll it'll be it'll be okay and just like that something as simple as falling off your bike can cause some big problems for you. And I think the most important things um, are to have faith and patience, and it will take you a long way. So tomorrow is my plate removal surgery, and I am beyond elated. I can't tell you how long it has felt that I've waited for this moment. And for those of you who are currently in this situation, you will get there, trust me. Now, I'll see you on the other side. So I wanted to get a before shot before I get unbroken. Uh, so here is the scar right now. Right now, this is right here. So it's 4.42 a.m. and it's surgery day. Tensions are a little high, but there's excitement in the air. I can feel it. Hello, so when I give an update on the surgery, it went well. And uh, here's the, uh, here's the patch. So surgery happened yesterday. So this is day one after the surgery. This one was a lot smoother than the first time, the first surgery of the implant. Uh, virtually no pain. Uh, movement, no restrictions. Just uh, doctor said that I should still stay in a sling for one day, just one day. But overall, looks good. Excited. Check out my phone. Good morning. This is a good girl. All in all, the surgery took about 30 minutes, but I'm just excited to start this next part of my journey. Uh, and next steps will probably be therapy. But if you do have any questions on what I went through, uh, be sure to comment below. 
uh, let me know and I'll definitely I'll definitely reply. All right. Take care.